There are so many games in the App Store, some good and some bad. I'm always in search of new games, but the way the App Store is organized, the only apps that you see are the top 150 paid, free, or grossing. Yes, there are best new games and best new game updates categories, but the amount of games they show you is really low, and most of them are games that i already seen. Another way that I look for games is go on websites, but it doesn't help. And when I go on YouTube to look for games, every single time I look at the top whatever games on YouTube, it's always the same games such as Asphalt 8, Real Racing Series, Minion Rush, and many more of the top games we already know. And the thing that bothers me the most is that every single time someone shows a game that they personally think belongs on their top list of games, you can tell that they never played it before simply because they are not skilled at the game, their high score is really low, they're showing off the tutorial, or playing the first level in Asphalt 8. I'm tired of people always showing off that first level. There's a lot into that game, I know because I have that game and i gone way too far into it. This has encouraged me to make my own top games video and do it right. Sorry about the little rant, but here are my top 5 games in the App Store. Also know that these games are also available on the Google Play Store. Number 5 is Subway Surfers. I really don't know how much time I put into this game. I had to start all over 3 times because I went to an iPod Touch, to a Samsung Galaxy S3, to an iPhone. And every time, I complete every single mission. I even bought the double coins so that I could earn coins faster to upgrade all of my items. Except for the super sneakers, you don't need those. I like how every single month they update and change the theme of the game and add new characters and boards. I pretty much have the course memorized and could last forever playing only one run. And to prove that I actually play this game, here's my top score. Number 4 is Blades of Brim. This game is made from the same creators of Subway Surfers. It has the same art style and the same sound effects. The reason why I like this game more than Subway Surfers is because every time you go further in the game, it gets harder. Also there's a lot more action in this game. You have to avoid obstacles and at the same time defeat these monsters that get in your way. It is very satisfying when you defeat them. Number 3 is Mino Monsters 2. Mino Monsters is a game that I played a very long time ago and it went through a lot of changes and updates. This led to the creation of Mino Monsters 2. It's a lot like a Pokemon game, so maybe that's why I like it a lot. You have a couple monsters to choose from, each with great designs. Sometimes this game could get quite annoying because your bag could fill up so quickly and they always ask you if you want unlimited space for $20. I've gone so far in this game, I currently have 4 monsters level 50 and 86,000 coins, and I didn't pay a single cent. Number 2 is Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. This game may not appeal to many people, but it does to me because I am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. This gameplay is kinda like Pokemon. Each character has different types and have strengths and weaknesses. I'm already done with all the quests, but I'm still playing because I want to collect all of my favorite characters. I already have my top favorite characters of all time, which are Kid Goku and Team Gohan, which is really satisfying once you level them up to the max. There are always new updates to this game which will keep on making it a better game. Number 1 is Demo. This game is amazing. When I first started playing mobile games, one of the first games was Tap Tap Revenge and I'm pretty sure most of you know what that game is. And ever since that game wasn't available anymore, I've been looking for a game that could play similar to it. One day the app store had Demo as the free app of the week. This game is originally $2. At first, judging by the game's picture, I thought that it was going to be a horror game, but when I started playing it, it was a rhythm based game. I really enjoyed almost every song it has to offer, and they are really catchy. It has a lot of songs that come with the game, and that alone is worth it. This game also has a really great story, which I will not spoil, but let's just say it made most people cry. Not me. <laughs> every song has great artwork, so every time I unlock a new song, I always look forward for the artwork. I like this game so much that I go back to the previous songs and try to hit every single note. I even bought some extra DLC for this game which gives you extra songs, which makes this game the most money I spend on a mobile game. It's not pay to win, but pay to get more of a game that I really like. I even have some songs as my phone ringtone. Well that was my top 5 mobile games. I hope that I show you some games that you thought never existed or at least gave you some more information about them. If you have some games that you would like to share with me, please let me know. I really want to try more games that I haven't heard of before. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later.